These are literally my favourite way with potatoes. Golden on the outside, they are baked in butter. They absorb the flavour of the butter and the broth as they bake. When you eat them, it melts in your mouth, hence the name fondant potatoes. Cutting into neat cylinders is optional and there's a few ways to do it, so don't get stressed about this part. For pros, lie the potato on its side then carve it into a cylinder shape. For intermediate level, stand the potato upright then cut thin shavings down as you rotate. If yours is a little bit octagonish at the end, just use the back of the knife to shave sharp corners to make the sides smooth. For the easiest method, just use a round cutter. But actually, you can skip the shaping altogether and just cut thick slabs. Tastes the same. As for all the leftover potato trimmings, save them to make mash. Okay, potatoes cut, let's season them. Oil, salt and pepper. Then pan fry until golden on both sides. This will take a good six to eight minutes on each side. I know, longer than you expect. Add the thyme and butter and then spoon the foamy butter all over the potatoes. Add the stock, and once it comes up to the boil, transfer the pan into the oven for 30 minutes. This is when the magic happens. Your potatoes are gonna absorb the stock, which flavors the inside, and it makes it creamy in a way you just never get with ordinary roast potatoes. Baste halfway through, then again at the end. And by this time, there will be hardly any stock left, just mostly butter. Transfer to a serving platter, sprinkle with fresh thyme, pour all the butter, and sprinkle with a little sea salt flakes if you want. It just melts in your mouth, or mine. Definitely all mine. Taste testing time. Here you go, Dozer. Taste testing time. Fondant potatoes. Just kidding. 